public forum to address violence in the city was held earlier today at Wien Park. First News on Fox reporter Samantha Bender spoke with those responsible for organizing the event. She has the story. The two-hour community forum was full of passion and emotion. When we looked at uh, the, the violence and the killings that's in our city, uh, we were just overwhelmed with it. We knew that we had to do something. Rosetta Carter, executive director of Action, a faith-based community organization, tells me they wanted to hear from the community. The forum gave people a platform to share their stories, questions, and concerns surrounding the violence epidemic. We allowed different people, those that were victims, uh, those that had had it in their family, those that was just tired of the violence. I live here in Youngstown, and I'm afraid. Community members addressed a panel of about 15 local experts and neighborhood leaders in the fields of mental health, social services, law enforcement, education, and youth programs. One of the biggest points that community members and panelists brought up is that the city of Youngstown needs to get better at communicating and working together as one cohesive unit, which is why solutions-based conversations like this are so important. Actions community organizer Vicki Vickers tells me it's crucial that the city strengthens its conversations and transparency. One act of violence affects all of us. And I was hoping that we would gain that sense of unity and perspective that we're in this together, that we need to support one another and listen to one another. According to panelists, it all starts with the youth. By educating them earlier and providing them with the proper resources, it decreases the chance of them falling into the cycle of violence. In Youngstown, Samantha Bender, WKBN 27, First News.